hi everybody welcome to my channel so do this favor for me you guys okay because a lot of you are watching this channel but you are not subscribed do this now go down below the video you see subscribe press it you see it's free now move to the side to your right yeah you see the bell press it you see those options press all you see it's free it didn't even take more data okay do that with every video that you watch, okay? <laughs> Make sure that you don't watch people's videos when you haven't subscribed. But also there is a join button, you guys. Press the join button. It will tell you what to do so that you can become a member on this channel. So you guys, Adachima ended up getting an invitation from Miss Universe Nigeria to come participate in their competition. And a lot of us who have been following the story have been waiting to see if she was accepting the invitation. After a few days passed, uh, after they had uh, given her the invitation, I thought she's not accepting it. And I was like, you know what? I understand. Because if she did not know that her mother had allegedly committed a fraud to get um like legal documents in south africa then it must be a shock to her the same way that it was a shock to us that she actually did that that it, she's probably somewhere shocked and trying to get answers from her parents okay but she has accepted the invitation there is a video i'm going to play here where she does say that she is accepting the invitation she's going over there in nigeria to enter miss uh, universe nigeria okay now you guys what does that mean okay for me i feel like it might actually mean that she's not as shocked as the rest of us when it comes to what her mother allegedly did in stealing somebody's identity you know so that she can use that to become legal in the country okay i feel like maybe she knew maybe she's not as shocked so maybe she's not shocked and traumatized like all of us thought okay so I'm like, hmm, I would love so for somebody to just do an interview with this lady and just ask her, were you aware that your parents did this? By the way, you guys, it is still alleged at this point because the last time I read something or an article that talked about the story, they were saying that the investigations is still going on. They had found, you know, uh, something that indicated that her mother might have stolen somebody's identity, but the investigations were still going on. So they were investigating some more. Okay. I hope that this story is not going to be one of those that after some time, it just dies down and nobody does anything about it. Okay. Now you guys, she's going back to her home, the home of her father's. Okay. But in Kabayaki lies South Africa. And if you're being honest, okay, <laughs> I don't know about the other people, but so I do wonder with her because but oh, I say Nigeria because this is so I say, oh, Baba, I say Nigeria, oh, I say Nigeria, okay. So I'm sure you guys, she's going to have uh, fun entering the competition. What I wonder about is whether Nigeria is going to try and prove a point to South Africa by making sure that she wins, okay? Because, you guys, there's already people that are complaining about this whole thing, saying, listen, there are people that have been working very hard to win a sport in this competition. The same thing that happens in South Africa where we have different provinces and people win in their um, provinces and then they, they come together now they want they, they get to the finalist and then you know you have the ultimate winner even in nigeria i'm sure they have something similar so the people were saying how fair is it for Adachima now coming from South Africa to not go through that process that others have gone through for her to just be offered a spot, okay? So it's kind of like the same thing that happened with the lady that the mother allegedly stole the identity for because when somebody stole, steals your identity, you will be the one that is struggling to get a job, to open accounts, to buy a house, to buy a car, all of that because when you steal somebody's identity, you are basically stealing their life. You know, it becomes very difficult for that person. But she took the woman's spot in South Africa as a legal citizen of South Africa. So the same way that basically Adichima is going to be taking somebody's spot because now that they have 
invited her to the competition. You know, they could have taken another lady that has been working very hard to get to that point in the competition. Now it's going to be her, okay? So people are saying it is not fair that she gets that, okay? So just like in South Africa, we were split, okay? There were people that were saying, listen, she is not South African and she should not be entering any of these competitions where South Africans are supposed to enter and other people were like, uh, no, she is South African because she was born here. Why are we fussing about it? So even in Nigeria, they also don't agree, okay? So now what I'm wondering, because us here in South Africa, when we were questioning things, okay, we were xenophobic, Okay, when we were questioning things and being like, but if her mother is from over there and her father is from over there and her mother stole somebody's identity, then she must not be South African. Okay, now when we were questioning that, what's what's necessary? Xenophobic. Okay, now I'm wondering, Uguti, now with her going to Nigeria to enter Miss Universe Nigeria. With the people being split, because there are people that are saying, yes, this is a good idea. If South Africa won't have her, we will have her. But there are people that are saying, no, hang on, this is not fair. Now, is that xenophobic? I'm just wondering, okay? I'm just wondering. Eh? Is South Africa the only country in Africa that is xenophobic? Okay. Sometimes it's not that we are xenophobic. It's just that we have to fight for what is right. Now and then we do the right thing, okay? There are, many, <laughs> there are many things where we let go. So when we decide to fight for something, it's not always, you know, xenophobia, okay? Anyway, you guys, I'm going to play you a video here of her talking about how she is accepting the invitation to go to the country of her father. Okay, la kuna matlozi ka ke kona uyo ngeneli competition. Anyway, you guys, I wish her all of the luck. Okay, but when she's done with that competition, we do want her to come back here, and I do want her to do an interview with somebody because I do want to know if she knew that her mama had stolen somebody's identity. Just me being curious. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it before Pumegona. Share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers.